Welcome to Fish Talk Hunt Radio with John Hennigan, where we're going to cast and blast you right out of this world with some of the best hunting and fishing stories that you can't even imagine. Welcome to Fish Hunt Talk. This is John Hennigan and our coach, Frank Selby. <coughs> Sorry, Frank. Yeah, that's okay. We'll like not... it slide. Well, it's... <clears throat> It's just a dry cough I've had for a couple of weeks. Anyway, a couple of things. Oh, we did get another response from a, a 10-year-old for the um, Unreal Fishing Tales uh, giveaway. So if anybody wants to get in touch with this, uh, we got a pretty deep uh, chest full of uh, tackle that we can, that we're trying to give away. So just get in touch with me and we'll send it to you. And that's uh, go to <clears throat> John at fishtalkradio.com. It's a simple one. John at fishtalkradio.com. Or go to fishtalkradio.com um, website. But anyway, Frank, and then we got our trip in um, July coming up. We'd, a lot of people say that, yeah, 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 but I'm not seeing a lot of deposits come in. So uh, if you guys are interested... July second to the sixteenth, all inclusive for eighteen seventy five, <laughs> and it's a heck of a deal. And hopefully, you and I will get to fish together up there. So, yeah, this year we should be able to. Yeah, no, it's looking good. They got, we got really nice boats, and if you want a guided trip, uh, we can arrange that. Anyway, uh, real quickly, Frank, it's your turn. Not much. I'm getting ready for the show. Uh, I uh, got the vet on the 7th of March to go out fishing. Then we're going to the crowd and I'll show you. You're, you're breaking up a little bit, Frank. I'm breaking up? There you go. That's better. Yeah. We're going to the uh, Fred Hall show after the vets go fishing with the uh, the service. Perfect. Let's go fishing. Okay. All right, and you're going to be there demonstrating? Oh, yeah, I do every year. All right. Bart would kill me if I wasn't there. There you go. All right. <laughs> I well, better be dead. We're going to take a break and come back with... Uh, uh, our favorite sporting chef, Scott Lacey. You are listening to uh, Fish Hunt Talk. We'll be right back. A few years ago, a sailor set out to design a boat shoe that was comfortable and stable, non-skid, and wouldn't mark the decks. Today, these incredibly comfortable shoes are worn by anglers, boaters, professional guides, and charter captains. Go to softscience.com to see more. Soft Science shoes and boots are lightweight and shock absorbent with just the right level of support. Several styles come in all sizes. Enjoy the Soft Science shoe in the water and out. Check them out at softscience.com. It's time for you to take a real fun adventure. Join a hosted fishing adventure to Alaska or Baja with the staff of Fish Talk Radio. Real fun adventures can book you on any adventure you desire. Bring your fishing friends or meet new ones. Fish Talk Radio gets the best deals from our sponsors to give you the best possible price. Real fun trips are inclusive, easy, no worry packages to the most popular fish grounds. Trips start around $600. Go to reelfunadventures.com. If you are still using a plastic hard shell cooler, things have changed for the better. AO coolers are lighter with twice the efficiency of the traditional bulky coolers. AO coolers are the best available soft-sided cooler with three-quarter inch high-density closed cell foam insulation. They will keep ice frozen for 24 hours in hot weather. Easy to carry, less space, it fits product inside for better performance. Go to aocoolers.com to order or find a retailer available at West Marine. We have something new and exciting for all fishermen and fisherwomen, from 5 to 12-year-old boys and girls to teenagers and adults. Join the Unreal Fish Sales Fresh and Saltwater Fishing Club to get an amazing 50% discount on all Unreal rods and reels, 40% discount on all apparel, and 30% discount on all Unreal mounts. This monthly Fresh and Saltwater video contest has a cash prize up to $2,500. Members who join our Unreal Fish Sales Club anytime this 
this holiday season will receive a free Unreal Fishtails shirt or hat of their choice. Go to our website at unrealfishtails.com to join. It's unreal. Fish have tails. Do you have an Unreal Fishtail to share? Unreal Fishtails wants to post it. Go to unrealfishtails.com. Real is spelled with a double E. Join the club and win big money with your shirt videos. No matter what, you win with half price on all quality reels and rods. Plus, use discounts and accessories. Perfect gift for anglers. Check out the website now at unrealfishtails.com. Catch a shadow, I can catch a deer. Open water or the back of the creek. The wind and rain to me, it's all the same. I make a living playing this game. And I thank the Lord above every time I can. I get to be a fisherman. Welcome back to Fish Talk Hunt Radio with John Hennigan. This is John Hennigan and our host, Frank Selby. And we have our special guest, the sporting chef, Scott Layseth. It's good to have you back, Scott. Good to be here. And a couple of questions I want to start off with. Uh, Of course, Frank always wants to know how to get in touch with you. (laughs) So your website is? Sportingchef.com. Um, if you go to the sportsmanchannel.com, it will have all the information about the Sporting Chef and the Dead Meat TV show. <laughs> I know. All righty. Um, and a couple of quick questions. You know, we just got through Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year, and I suppose I know who did the cooking. But I'm curious what you've got in your freezer right now. You know, uh, well, if you look at my freezer, I have... Ducks, chucker, squirrels, um, all in fur and feathers. Oh, my gosh. Um, I've got venison, elk, bison, let's see, scallops, shrimp, uh, quail, a rabbit rattlesnake sausage, um, and a big pile of wild boar. Wow. 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 That must have a good-sized freezer, but you use it. Well, yeah, I have I have a few freezers, and there's a little chicken in there too. A little chicken, okay. Yeah, <laughs> like a squab, but uh, no, some of that stuff. I'm sure that uh, most all of it you took yourself. Pretty much, yeah. I, you know, I, I stay fairly busy all year long looking after after looking for things like. Uh, but, for the Dead Meat Show, we're at the World Champion Squirrel Cook-Off and the Roadkill right. Festival. Right. And, um, you know, those flying Asian carp, we figured out a way to cook those. It's, it's been a busy year. Well, yeah, I'll bet. And uh, tell me, but squirrels I know in certain parts of the United States are popular, but I, I don't know. Tell me about a squirrel and how do you fix it? You, you know, young or? squirrel, better than old squirrel, which pretty much is the standard for most animals. Um Young squirrels, you can fry them, do whatever you want. I prefer to braise my squirrels first. I'm going to cook them low and slow with a little liquid heat. And it's going to, once they're tender, then you can slap them on the grill or fry them or do whatever. But, um, you know, if you look at these limb chickens, they fly around a lot. They don't really sit around waiting for acorns to land in their lap. So they're going to be very lean and sinewy and so whenever you get an animal that's on the lean side yeah. it's best to go a little bit low and slow medium yeah. rare doesn't usually work right right you got to stew them yep and uh <laughs> roadkill i can't believe that but uh anyway interesting life you live uh what's uh, your favorite thing to cook you know, my favorite things to cook aren't cooked. Um, my favorite foods are raw oysters, raw fish, homegrown tomatoes. They're either good or they're not good, and there's no amount of sauce. No amount of sauce can save a bad oyster. How about oh. that? Or a well, bad piece of tuna. Yeah, well, you don't uh, seafood. You don't mess with it if it's not fresh and smells good. Right. If it doesn't smell good, don't eat it. Yeah, seems, there you go. Seems reasonable, doesn't it? Yeah, that's my thought. But uh, yeah, I've been saying that for years, and of course, I'm talking about you know seafood and meat. Sure. But anyway, uh, <laughs> there's just there's there's so much stuff out there, and you're going to be at the Hall Show, of course. 
you know, I will be. And, and, yeah. and at the whole show, we'll get to talk about a whole lot of things that I've done in the last year. For instance, <sighs> I know you've seen the videos of those flying Asian carp. I've seen, um, yeah. No, those are, they're supposed to be mean and, and uh, they're, uh, they're, uh, don't they attack other fish? You know, I don't. I don't think so because these guys, these Asian carp, they're plankton feeders. They're they're filter feeders, so oh. they can't be line caught. What happens? We were on the Illinois River north of Peoria, and if you've seen the video of people driving by and the carp flying out of the water and hitting them in the head and all yeah. that, that's exactly what it's like. Oh, so but for some are, reason, so they don't. Asian carp in the United States go up when they're spooked instead of down. They don't do that in Asia, but they do it here. So you're cruising along the river, and all of a sudden these carp start flying out. So then you start doing hard circles, and it stirs them up, and you shoot at them with a bow and arrow. But most of them either hit you in the head or just jump right into the boat. Well, yeah, and we there you figured go. out a great way to cook them. I took him to a guy in Chicago. All he did was skin each side um, and run the whole thing through a grinder. So oh, if my you've gosh. Got, if you've got bony fish, what the grinders do is they're going to they're gonna crunch up the bones, which is just going to add calcium. Yeah. There's, you don't get any chunks of bone in there or anything else. He made fish cakes out of ground Asian carp, and mm-hmm. they were absolutely delicious. Hmm. Yeah, carp are known for their bones. But, right. uh, you know, those... I was going to say, if you... You about the only way you get them is with a hook and line, or you just uh, uh, whack them when they fall in the boat. Well, yeah, and these and the Asian carp won't you. They can't be line caught. And but the problem is, they're eating all the feed fish that the other fish that we want to be there are eating uh-huh. or should be eating. And so it's uh, they're they're unfairly competing for the same resources. Uh huh. And uh, Frank. Uh, I'm sure you've got some a bunch of questions uh, for Scott. Yeah, I I always do. He always sees me in the front row when he's cooking with my little plate <laughs> ready. Oh yeah, I get up there fast. <laughs> oh, he he does some of the best fish you've ever tasted. I have never found anything you cook bad. Well, I appreciate that, Frank. And we've got well, Tommy Gomes will be there again this year, breaking down fish and. As always, um, once it's broken down, we eat it. Yeah. Yep. And it's always good. Excellent, really. Excellent. I appreciate that. Well, I'm just yeah. thinking about some of the other things you talked about were in your freezer. Uh, bison, are those steaks, roasts, or what? Um, I've got bison flank, which is a little on the lean side. And, and with flank steak, whether it's bison or beef, I like to cook it just a tad beyond medium rare because at medium rare it seems a little bit chewy. Uh-huh. Uh, but the bison, being ten times leaner than beef, um, mm-hmm. you just have to be careful with it. Um, people that have had a bison steak or a bison burger in the past that didn't care for it, chances are what they did was they overcooked it. Yeah. Because there's there's a lot less fat in those things than there is in a beef steak. Right. So with your bison, just Keep it, you know, for a bison steak, keep it at about 130 degree internal temperature, mm-hmm. and it will be as tender as any beef steak you've ever had. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know what? While we were act- talking about it, if you don't mind, tell us a little bit about aging meat. Obviously, you don't age fish, but uh, no, you know, no. dry, dry age or, or, or uh, aged in a vacuum bag. But uh, well, tell us and, and the way the way I do it, you know, if you've ever gone to a restaurant and had a twenty eight day aged steak, yep, um, you know, it's really really tender, but it's also very expensive. And the reason that is is because as it ages, not only does it tenderize the meat. But it's going to lose about 20% of its weight. Yep. So it's going to lose all this capillary blood and any other kind of excess moisture there is in there. And as it's as it's aging, um, what it's doing is it's breaking down the connective tissue. There's it's going to uh, right. release enzymes that's going to uh, yep. neutralize the, the well. If the you tough if you don't if you don't have a room where you can hang it, uh, I just put it in the refrigerator without the top on it. Yeah, you can take weeks. you can take a roast, whether it's a, a venison roast or a beef roast, put it on a rack with a pan underneath it in your refrigerator and just leave it in there for a couple of weeks. Yeah. And you may have a couple of little discolored bits. Just cut those off. Uh-huh. The rest of it will be incredibly tender. Yeah. 
No, it does make a difference where you can get the the, the, the stuff that's on sale that might be okay but not that great. Let it right. sit for a couple of weeks. Big difference. And if if you're not going to be uh, putting it into stakes, is it still a good idea to age it? Anytime. Um, okay. I, you know, I had a guy, especially with wild game, I had a guy call me and say, man, I do exactly what you do. I tick. I had a, I've had your food a million times. I had a venison loin. I didn't overcook it. I didn't oversauce it. But I'll tell you, the flavor was fine, but it was really, really tough. Uh -huh. And I said, when did you shoot that deer? And he said, yesterday. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, so, that's roadkill. Anyway, we're going to have to Take the rest of it. that deer and dry age it for a couple of weeks. There you go. And you'll find that it's a whole different piece of meat. Great. Okay, well, we're, gonna, we're getting signed off here. Thank you, Scott. We appreciate all that info. And we'll be talking soon, I hope. Back to the bar. You too, Murphy. <laughs> We have something new and exciting for all fishermen and fisherwomen, from 5 to 12 year old boys and girls to teenagers and adults. Join the Unreal Fish Sales Fresh and Saltwater Fishing Club to get an amazing 50% discount on all Unreal rods and reels, 40% discount on all apparel, and 30% discount on all Unreal mounts. This monthly Fresh and Saltwater video contest has a cash prize up to $2,500. Members who join our Unreal Fish Sales Club anytime this holiday season will receive a free Unreal Fishtails shirt or hat of their choice. Go to our website at unrealfishtails.com to join. It's Unreal. Fish have tails. Do you have an Unreal Fishtail to share? Unreal Fishtails wants to post it. Go to unrealfishtails.com. Real is spelled with a double E. Join the club and win big money with your short videos. No matter what, you win with half price on all quality reels and rods. Plus, huge discounts and accessories. Perfect gift for anglers. Check out the website now at unrealfishtails.com. Fish on! Yeah, it's a big one. For passionate sports fishermen who value first-class fishing experiences paired with personalized service and amenities, all-inclusive Salmon Falls Fishing Resort on the Inland Passage reinvents the Ketchikan Fishing Getaway. Guests enjoy exceptional gourmet cuisine, superior fishing excursions, fully guided charter or self-guided in center console boats accommodating three anglers, updated guest rooms, and suites. On-site fishing process Processing to clean, freeze, and pack your catch. Rooms range from log cabin rustic to modern. Our 52 rooms offer the ultimate in comfort after a long day of sightseeing, fishing, and exploring Ketchikan. Non-anglers love Salmon Falls, too. Shopping along Creek Street, kayaking, hiking, whale watching, or gathering around our fire pits with a hot beverage, all at prices less than expected. Just pull up Salmon Falls Resort in your search engine. The East Cape of Baja, Mexico is world famous for sport fishing. Dorado, tuna, wahoo, marlin, sailfish, roosterfish, and parco. The Van Wormer Resorts make dreams come true at a price all can afford. Hotel Palmas de Cortez, Playa del Sol, and Hotel Punta Colorado have the biggest and best sport fishing fleet in all of Mexico. Call toll free to 877-777-TUNA to find out how affordable world class fishing can be. The finest resorts and the best boats in East Cape. Call 877-777-TUNA. Vagabundos del Mar Boat and Travel Club has 42 years experience introducing RVers to the joys of Mexico. Specializing in Baja, Vagabundos leads caravans and sponsors fishing tournaments, trailer boat cruises, and weekend getaways in Mexico and the West. Vagabundos Del Mar also saves its 10,000 members tons of money on low-cost auto insurance. Stay up to date on Mexican travel with the printed newsletter online at V-A-G-A-B-U-N-D-O-S dot com or call 800-474-BAJA. Welcome back to Fish Talk Hunt Radio with John Hennigan. This is John Hennigan and our host, Frank Selby. And we have the first lady of uh, the charter boat fishing out of Cabo San Lucas. And she's got the most complete full-service tackle shop yeah, pretty much anywhere. It doesn't look that big, but it doesn't. There's not much there that she doesn't have. They just go in the back room and come out with it. But uh, it's just amazing. But you know, they. Uh, I think you pretty much outfit most of the uh, Bisbee players and the professionals. Uh, I do. I do. I'm fortunate enough to serve the fleets and uh, so many beautiful yachts and crews. Oh gosh, and it seems to be getting more so. 
No, I mean, the high, well, high end fishing. We love it. Yeah. And you still got your fleet of how many boats? Yeah, we're working three boats, mm-hmm. uh, the the two, three, and the five, and um, everything's great. Everything's yeah. great down here. After 43 years, we're still enjoying it. 43 years. Good heavens. Been, well, you're still a baby, but uh, you must have started off so young. Well, I thought I was young. I was 19, so yeah. that's pretty young. Yeah. Yeah, it is. But what you've done down there is... Tremendous, and you're such an asset to the sport fishing community down there. It's not just about you or your tackle shop or your or your or your boats. Uh, you really do a lot to help the uh, uh, the locals down there. Well, you know, John, this is a beautiful community. I mean, we just kind of are a magnet for people from everywhere, and. Um, and it's just there's a there's a beautiful blending uh, fishing fishing holds people together. Yeah, it's 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 something that's you know it just creates its own little club and and lifestyle. Well, do you have any idea how many uh, private uh, um, the, uh, uh, charter boats there are down there now? Well, our our marina can hold eight hundred, and. On a given day, the port captain tells me that on a given day, 400 sport fisher, sport fishing boats leave this harbor. Wow. And they normally catch something. Well, let's talk about, since we mentioned fishing, uh, let's talk about what's been happening uh, down there. You know, we're not looking for a daily report, but uh, people are getting ready to come down in the spring uh, or sooner. Remember, I've got a condo down there that's got some space starting in March. But uh, <laughs> tell us about what's what's been happening. I understand the, the bait has been around and the fishing has been good. Is that still true? <laughs> yeah, the, bait, the bait's been around. The fishing's good. I've probably seen some of the best Dorado fishing I've seen for three years. Uh-huh. Um, it is kind of hit and miss, you know. The bait, the bait seemed to move out and then move back in. Today, I'm told already, it's, uh, you know, that uh, that some of the boats uh, came back pretty dry today, and and then fish popped up in the Sea of Cortez. So oh. things move like that from you know time to time. Well, they do have fins and tails, that's for sure. But uh, yep. Um, I don't know. It seems like things used to be more consistent. I don't know if that's true or not. But uh, you, know, you used to always go out and make bait, and now it's not always that easy. Well, it's true. I think I think your observation is true. It's not that easy. We don't have the fish populations as nobody does in the world, and we don't have the bait populations as anybody does in the world. Um, there were years that you remember that you know that all you saw was giant schools of sardines and and uh caba and mackerel and, yeah. and and stuff and that's just not as as uh prolific as it used to be yeah but they still work and you can still get them and oh yeah then, uh, we saw a beautiful saw a beautiful uh sardine ball at up at the golden gate two days ago oh yeah, so and that would probably be, well, Marlin Dorado and tuna too, right? Yeah, Maybe and like I said, the Dorado are to me is the best Dorado fishing I've seen in, in at least three years. Well, you know that's my favorite fishing. Uh, you hook into a two, three hundred pound marlin. That's a lot of work, uh, and a tuna are fine, you know, as long as they're not a hundred pounds, you know. But a Dorado, they come flying out of the air and and. Uh, um, they're just, uh, you know, beautiful, and they fight hard, and they're just a lot of fun to catch. And, you know, you want to take something to eat, they're really good fare, too. <laughs> but in fishing, John, everybody's got their own disease. Everybody's got their own addiction, you know. Yep. <clears throat> I know that um, on on December 30th, we caught the last, uh, the Minerva, too, caught the last blue marlin of the season. It was 500 pounds. Oh, my gosh. And it hit on a uh, trolling slow date, and no one ever expected it. And these people release everything. These are 20-year clients of ours. 
They fought that fish for three and a half hours. He fishes marlin only, only stand up fishing. Yeah. He took that fish at 79 years old and and fought it. You know, it was unbelievable. Yeah. And released it. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of work. A lot of yeah, work. Yeah, and that's all he wants is big well, fish. <laughs> when you you know you hook one of those, in uh, <coughs> instead of jumping out of the water. All you see yeah. coming out is the head, then you know you got the trouble in front of you. Yeah, yeah. And here around the Jaime and the Golden Gate, we've been seeing small schools of tunas, too, and catching them. Um, but they're moving. They're on the run. So one day you'll hit it, and one day you won't, and one day you'll hit it, and one day you won't. Right. Right, and they've, uh, the marlin like those, too, don't they? Oh, Yeah. Well, uh, give, us so some, I. give us some tips. <laughs> give us some tips on people that want to come down this year. Well, I have to tell you that we're encased in 74, 75 degree water, which is beautiful, all the way from San Jose to uh, to uh, Toto Santo. So, that, you know, that's you've got an air temperature of 82, 85 degrees and a water temperature of 75 degrees. That makes oh, for a pretty perfect. nice tropical holiday. Oh, that's perfect. Um, you've got, uh, the, you know, you want to get in here and 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 enjoy some of this beautiful, beautiful snorkeling and some, uh, you know, I, I just spoke to sp- to snorkelers this morning and they said they had incredible visibility even though we've got a little bit of cloud cover so Uh things are beautiful if you want to get away to a you know a two-hour plane ride and and get to a tropical place this is the time to come oh that's the thing is Cabo is so easy to reach I mean you got direct flights from you know Texas from Los Angeles San Francisco Utah, Orange County. County. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's one of the easiest places to get to. And, you know, airfare, you know, is, is nothing cheap anymore, but it's still simple and, you know, more reasonable than almost anywhere else. It is. It is. And now, you know, we're, we, we're, we're flying a lot to Arizona, and that Phoenix flight oh, really? to, Lo, to Los Cabos is is also a dream, just like Santa Ana and Los Angeles. And, I mean, it's just like a two-hour trip. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, and they're the nicest girls down there you will ever meet, and especially <laughs> what I'm talking to right now. Yeah. How sweet. Oh, Minerva is a doll. I made them air rings for you, Dorado air rings. I haven't got them down, but when I come down, I'll bring them. All right, honey, I'll be waiting. Well, she's waiting. Okay, she's, just, got, she's got a nice chest. Don't let your husband beat me up. I won't. <laughs> well, Minerva, okay. if you walk in the store, she's got a nice chest filled with ice water and a few other things, so... It's a good respite where you can just get out off the heat and relax and look at all the stuff and talk fish. Yeah, and you know what, John? We just can't end it without saying that we have some of the most delicious food down here. Well, no, yeah. I mean, not not to mention there's just nothing better than a Baja taco and a cold beer, but we have the most delicious food, and my clients come in here drinking these mojitos that yeah. are like to die for you just oh. want to reach across the counter and take it away from them <laughs> yeah they are refreshing but yeah. uh, talk about those baja style fish tacos that's my specialty and Ooh. oh they're so good to, you know my secret is uh, mayonnaise thinned with lime juice and that's really all you need on them but you can uh. add a whole bunch of spi- uh, different things toppings you can put on them but you don't want to get carried away <laughs> I like oh, yeah, spice. I'm with you. I'm with you. Well, you know, you just, I mean, you're just at home, you know, with a cold beer yep. in the Baja and a taco. <laughs> yeah, the beer battered taco. Those are, you know, it's no, nobody does those. Everybody up here wants to fry them or chop them and stuff. And no, no, no. You know, just dip, dip them in beer batter and it's kind of like making a donut. As soon as it floats up, it's done. Yep. And they're awesome. But uh, um, but you're right about the food. It just keeps uh, getting better and better. You know, the restaurants just like up here, you know, they come and they go. But uh, the good ones that have been there for a while, they're still there. 
Yeah. You know, <laughs> it's interesting phenomena. We got to go, but uh, it seems like the restaurants, if things are busy, they got to go. Oh, we've got to raise the prices. And if things slow down, they go. Oh, we got to raise the prices to you know to make money. <laughs> That's a, yeah. That seems to be a cycle. Yeah, well, one of the great things about traveling is do it the local way. You know, yep. you can't go wrong. Do it the local way anywhere That's you right. go in the world. Just look around, and if uh, everybody's speaking English, you're in the wrong spot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I just asked McNerva where to go to eat. She tells me, and it's always been excellent. Yep. Yeah, it is, and I've got some favorites myself. Anyway, uh, Minerva, we're going to have to let you go. We so appreciate you taking your time out of the day to visit with us. And, uh, oh, we'll see, thank we'll see, you. It's nice to talk to you, boys, we'll and we'll you see soon. you down here, okay? Ho- hopefully we'll see you soon in Cabo. Thank you, Minerva. Uh-huh. All right, you're listening to Fish Hunt Talk. We'll be right back. stretches for miles in front of you and with the ram 1500 you'll be able to reach mile after open mile it gets a best in class 25 miles per gallon highway so your destination won't just be determined by your gas gauge but by your gauge for achievement and the ram 1500 is the first ever back-to-back motor trend truck of the year guts glory ram see your local ram dealer today for great deals epa estimated 25 mpg highway based on v6 4x2 a full surface fly shop his and her fly fishing offers ffi certified international fly fishing instructor and guide service with frank selby listen to frank as host of fishhunttalkradio.com or listen live saturdays at 9 a.m pacific time on sirius xm radio channel 211 custom flies are handmade to, to your order in house in newport beach fishing in mexico belize florida or the rockies frank and the staff will deliver exactly what you need flies and gear google his and her fly fishing Alaskan RV Butler, guiding, fishing, hiking, sightseeing, adventure. The Alaskan RV Butler, like a cruise on wheels in the comfort of an RV, view the wonders of Alaskan interior, streams, ocean, and wildlife, or fish for the big one, all while pampered by Mike, the Alaskan RV Butler. Mike's inclusive tours serve butter-drenched shellfish and mouth-watering steaks. Mike is your personal chef, chauffeur, guide, and planner. And for the real Alaska, contact MikeRVButler at gmail.com. That's MikeRVButler at gmail.com. We have something new and exciting for all fishermen and fisherwomen, from 5 to 12-year-old boys and girls to teenagers and adults. Join the Unreal Fish Tales Fresh and Saltwater Fishing Club to get an amazing 50% discount on all Unreal rods and reels, 40% discount on all apparel, and 30% discount on all Unreal mounts. This monthly Fresh and Saltwater video contest has a cash prize up to $2,500. Members who join our Unreal Fish Tales Club anytime this holiday season will receive a free Unreal Fishtails shirt or hat of their choice. Go to our website at unrealfishtails.com to join. It's Unreal. Fish have tails. Do you have an Unreal Fishtail to share? Unreal Fishtails wants to post it. Go to unrealfishtails.com. Real is spelled with a double E. Join the club and win big money with your short videos. No matter what, you win with half price on all quality reels and rods, plus huge discounts and accessories. Perfect gift for anglers. Check out the website now at unrealfishtails.com. It's time for you to take a real fun adventure. Join a hosted fishing adventure to Alaska or Baja with the staff of Fish Talk Radio. Real fun adventures can book you on any adventure you desire. Bring your fishing friends or meet new ones. Fish Talk Radio gets the best deals from our sponsors to give you the best possible price. Real fun trips are inclusive, easy, no worry packages to the most popular fish grounds. Trips start around $600. Go to reelfunadventures.com. Welcome back to Fish Talk Hunt Radio with John Hennigan. This is John Hennigan and our host Frank Selby and a very special world-renowned guest is on the line with us. And Frank, uh, why don't you go ahead and uh, um, introduce Dan? Introduce? Yeah. Okay. Daddy Kadoda has been my friend for over 30 years, and we won't say how long old. But Daddy has just started a new company, and I wanted him to talk a little bit about that and a little bit about fishing. So, Daddy, how about telling us a little bit? 
sure. A little bit is hard for me. You know that, Frank. But, you know, <laughs> That's why I said a little bit. bit. I know yeah. it will take 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, if, if we don't, we'll see you at the Fred Hall Show because I have a booth there. The name yeah. of the company is called Semper Fish. So, in other words, it's always fish, kind of off the label of, of the Marines, you know, uh, Semper Fi. And, uh, you know, and, and, and in fact, the colors of the company are purple and gold. So it's the color of the purple heart. So it's kind of got that that theme involved with it, you know. Um, the other thing is, you know, in the fish, too. It's a, I took two inverted rods, and as it turns out, it, it turns out to look like it was unintended, but maybe it is intended. It looks like the Christian fish, you know. So there's, there's a lot of things going for us. But um, I'm going to be starting out. We're doing starting with baby steps. We're starting out with trout rods because I think it's a pretty, pretty important thing here in Southern California. I mean, it's how I got my start. When, no, are those, are those fly right? rods, Danny? What's that? Are those fly rods? No, they're they're uh, they're conventional. Yeah. They're conventional. I want to get the kids involved. Uh, one day we probably will. But that's yep. going to be a while down the road, you know. Mm-hmm. But you know, we start with a, a seven, seven and a half, and eight. But they're very specific rods, but the one thing we're doing that's going to be very unique is that we're going to have interchangeable tips for the size. So in other words, huh. you can get a seven or seven and a half and eight foot, and you get the tips at one power, two power, three power, depending on utilization. Because as we know, and and only our anglers here in Southern California, for the most part, I mean, we got really hardcore guys, they will fish a specific rod for two pound line. So you're going to you're going to have a very uh, subtle and very light tip. And then if you're throwing a cast master lure, you want something that's heavier there. You're going to throw Now, are you talking about the rod itself or just the hardware on the end? No, just the, the blanks. The blanks are yeah. all, the yeah. tips, tip section of the blanks will be all interchangeable. Oh, they so you want okay. you want to buy a, a butt section and buy two different tips. Uh, I've, I've got an inkling that our fishermen are so serious, they're probably going to buy rods all specifically three. and have them rigged. Yeah, yeah, you know, and that's how our Southern Cal guys are. You know, and it's going to be, a, it's, it's challenging, but, you know, our guys are by far the best fishermen in the world. Yeah, you know, Simpson. They're the most technical, and I mean, we attribute that to aerospace and Hollywood, the dot-coms. But yeah. Everybody's yeah. trying to make a better you know, a better wheel, you know, if they can, you know, a better mousetrap. But you're right. But, some of, the, some of yeah. the best reels coming out are coming out of California that uh, companies that used to deal in aerospace. So they've got the NCRs and the machines and, you know, they uh, take, cut it out of a solid block of aluminum. Oh, yeah. absolutely. All the CNC, that's mm-hmm. exactly what they were initially. A lot of them were, you know, Anchor was like that. Mm-hmm. But who, uh, Abel was, yep. you know, he's up in there. And I used to rep them a long, long time ago. But, I mean, yeah, it was it, it made a huge, huge difference in, even with the, that technical aspect. But, mm-hmm. you know, it, like I said, I think that uh, our, our consumers down here, they're not just settling for anything. They, they, they take it as a lifestyle. Mm-hmm. You know, and so well, just, they just, go hardcore after it. I was just thinking a trout rod, but that would probably work well for uh, um, calico bass or any of the topwater fish. And the, well, it's, it's, it's yeah. going to be specifically for trout, John. It's it's They're going to be really two to six pound rods for the most oh. part. But, but the applications are going to be for, you know, fishing mini jigs, which is a little tiny plastic. Uh, the one area that we do cross over into flies is there's been a lot of guys that grow up the crawley, yeah, and they fish midges. They'll fish yeah. double midge, and that eight footer is ideal for it. Yeah. The other the other thing for that is a drop shot with it, which mm-hmm. is an application that came out of you know the bass fishing too. So, yeah. You know, actually, it could you know you go back further and you talk about a dropper loop that we used to use on the ocean. Oh yeah. You know. Yeah. So. But, you know, and, and again, the innovation comes out of our anglers here. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll give them credit. And I'll let them, because they're all younger than I am now, let them take these and, and go for it. But I'm sure they'll find terrific applications for them. Well, putting a woolly bugger on a, uh, a conventional rod, lightweight conventional rod, I've seen that uh, at uh, Convict Lake, and the guy was just whacking him. Oh, absolutely. You know, I, I actually built a nine-foot spinning rod uh, out of a four uh, a four weight fly rod for <laughs> crawly for wow. midging right wow. and 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 the reason that that we did that was you know you, you often get guides up there and if 
they're not showing the guys how to strip the line and how to fight a fish yeah. with a fly rod, mm-hmm. they could hook the they could hook the fish. Yeah. As long as there's tension and the fish stays on. But if you're fishing a barbless hook, if you don't keep the tension on them, yeah, they're gone. It flies off and they spit it, right? right. So I, mm-hmm. for yeah. years I'd watch their and watch these guys sit there, they'd hook the fish, they put the bend on the rod and all of a sudden the the consumer, the angler is trying to put that line on with the reel. Well, it's too slow. Yeah. Instead of stripping, you never keep up with it. Then they yeah. lose the fish. Yeah. So I came up with the idea of doing a spinning rod. You use those double midges or midge, right? You hook the fish. All you got to do is start cranking. Yeah. There's no way. Yeah. And so lift the rod up and start cranking. You can yeah. release it. But yeah. yeah, it's a much more efficient way. It's a good way to learn, you mm-hmm. know, and it's more productive, you know. Danny? Yeah. Uh, do you have your website up yet? Not yet, no. But we're going to leave okay. a lot of stuff at the Fred Hall Show, so we'll definitely oh, see you there. We'll definitely yeah, see you. We'll I'm be bringing the 12 uh, vets okay. after Perfect. we get back off of the water, hey, fish, and salt water. Danny, there's a All hole right. that uh, you haven't covered yet. Uh, yes. I know that uh, you're very uh, well thought of on on the longer range boats. Um, can you tell us a brief history of, of uh, that part of your life? Of, of sport fishing? Yeah. On the boats? Yeah. When I, all right. H&M. Well, not brief. H- H&M landing. <laughs> when, I, when I got out of college, I had a degree in economics and sociology. My dad uh, was down at UCSD, so I, I was on the water quite a bit anyway. And so my dad said, so what are you going to do for a living? I said, I'm going to go work as a deckhand on a boat. Well, he fell out, fell out of the chair laughing, you know. And he goes, no, really, what are you going to do? Well, I did. He says, are you serious? You're going to work for $40, a 20-hour day for $40 a day? I go, yeah, that's what I'm going to do, Pop. So for about a year or two, he goes, are you going to ever get a real job? Because I was bass fishing, fishing, like going up in the Sierras, fishing, doing everything. And the opportunity came when I got my license. I was offered a boat, and we started looking for boats. And I was working with Taka Tanaka at the time. And Tucker offered me the Mustang, so it was perfect because I knew all the charters, and we we, we got that and we a partner. And then soon after that, we we got the uh, Fortune, and then the Cherokee Geisha, which was the old uh, original Shabasco from Lee Palms. And then in '83, well, here's here's a good one for all you the environment environmentalists. In '83. El Nino, we had that hot water, and the biologists yep. said, oh, the ocean's going to be dead. Yep. It's going to be absolutely dead because it killed the kelp, which it yep. did. Yeah. Well, just to tell you how much they know, um, Ralph Miller uh, kind of panicked at H&M, and he sold the landing. We bought into the H&M landing in 83. Oh. Eight, 1984. Water turned cold, and we had 84 and 85 record double core years. Wow. So when you talk to me about biologists making assessments on different things like that, I don't buy it. I have some real issues with, you know, their so determination and stuff. Because well, you got to remember, their their money is being made through these grants. Oh, yeah. And, you know, what I found out in time, as I learned, that I, I've lost a lot of respect for them because they, they, they put their – Money where their mouth is. Well, you and, know, they, and, and then they, then unfortunately, they've got these students that are following lockstep. Oh yeah, well that's uh, you know that's what we're dealt with nowadays with all these. You know, they don't think for themselves, but when you actually find out about what goes on out there, it shows you how little we know. Well, the I don't want to get political, but um, everything goes through cycles, in particular the climate. Uh, oh, yeah, of course there's climate change. It's been changing forever. And sometimes, it, you know, it'll change in two- or three-year cycles, sometimes 10 or 15. But, you know, we don't know what's going to happen with the ocean currents or the jet stream or no, uh, these absolutely other factors. Not. Mm-hmm. Absolutely not. John, you and Frank and I are old enough to remember that when we were younger, there was a talk of an ice age coming. Oh, yeah. Uh, there was the acid you remember rain. that? Well, yeah. Our kids, well, oh, yeah. yeah. You know? So, I you know, know. That was, that was right after the acid rain. Or anybody like that, yeah. tell us what's going on with the environment. I'm going, yeah, right. Yeah. Give yeah. me a break. You know. Yeah, I remember yeah. three years ago they said we would have no more sand bass on the Huntington Flats. The next year there was a bumper crop. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what happened there, don't you, Frank? Yeah. There was. They were. They were being trapped down down south in Mexico. 
Oh. And they're being chunked into bait for the bluefin tests because they didn't have enough sardines and anchovies to, yeah. to fatten up those bluefin in the pen. The problem is yeah. when that load is going to hit the pan, they reject it small. Oh. Because, uh, you know, instead of having a, a juicy bluefin that, you know, is fattened up with anchovy and sardine oil, yeah. it, uh, it was fattened up by a turd roller. <laughs> yeah. you know? So, yeah. you know, imagine, imagine eating a bluefin tasting like a turd roller. So, yeah, okay. And that well, anyway, be- Danny, we're, gonna, we're just about out of time. Okay. But, uh, thanks for that. Let's do your website one more time. Now, well, do, do you have a be, site up now? Yeah, it's going to be no. Well, it's not set up yet, but I will. I'll get back in touch with you. All right, we'll do that. We promise. Okay. All right. And we'll have everybody on during the show. All right. All right. Okay. Thank you, Danny. All right. We'll see. All right. Okay. You're listening to Fish Hunt Talk, and we'll be back with you and uh, finish things up. Go to the website and listen to the show as many times as you want, right on the front page. Just go to Fish Hunt Talk or Fish Talk Radio. Anyway, there's five ways to find us. Just Google it. And I know she's really missed the job that I gave her of cleaning all my fish. We have something new and exciting for all fishermen and fisherwomen, from 5 to 12-year-old boys and girls to teenagers and adults. Join the Unreal Fish Sales Fresh and Saltwater Fishing Club to get an amazing 50% discount on all Unreal rods and reels, 40% discount on all apparel, and 30% discount on all Unreal mounts. This monthly Fresh and Saltwater video contest has a cash prize up to $2,500. Members who join our Unreal Fish Sales Club anytime this holiday season will receive a free Unreal Fishtails shirt or hat of their choice. Go to our website at unrealfishtails.com to join. It's Unreal. Fish have tails. Do you have an Unreal Fishtail to share? Unreal Fishtails wants to post it. Go to unrealfishtails.com. Real is spelled with a double E. Join the club and win big money with your short videos. No matter what, you win with half price on all quality reels and rods, plus huge discounts and accessories. Perfect gift for anglers. Check out the website now at unrealfishtails.com. The soft science footbed absorbs the shock of pounding waves, engine vibration, and even rocky terrain. Soft science shoes are roomy and relaxed, and they drain and dry quickly. Check out the soft science fin fishing shoes and boots and the fin H2O for kayaking and canoeing. They're lightweight, slip resistant, and won't mark your deck. See the new styles for men and women and get your pair on at softscience.com. Used by fishermen who know where to get the best fishing gear around, AFTCO makes the highest quality fishing rod components worldwide. If it says AFTCO, you know you have a quality rod. Guy Harvey Clothing, the best outdoor clothing line anywhere, is also available through AFTCO. Longest lasting, functional, and best looking clothing you'll be proud to wear. Only the very best materials and workmanship. As soon as you put it on, you'll know the difference. Look for AFTCO at quality retailers or go to AFTCO.com. It's a big one. For passionate sports fishermen who value first-class fishing experiences paired with personalized service and amenities, all-inclusive Salmon Falls Fishing Resort on the Inland Passage reinvents the Ketchikan Fishing Getaway. Guests enjoy exceptional gourmet cuisine, superior fishing excursions, fully guided charter or self-guided in center console boats accommodating three anglers, updated guest rooms, and suites. On-site fishing processing to clean freeze and pack your catch rooms range from log cabin rustic to modern our 52 rooms offer the ultimate in comfort after a long day of sightseeing fishing and exploring ketchikan non-anglers love salmon falls too shopping along creek street kayaking hiking whale watching or gathering around our fire pits with a hot beverage all at prices less than expected just pull up salmon falls resort in your search engine Welcome back to Fish Talk Hunt Radio with John Hennigan. Hey, welcome back, everybody. John Hennigan is on the phone right now. Nothing new there, but we've got uh, Frank Selby. Frank, what do you say, buddy? Yeah, well, not as much. I wanted to talk about uh, the fishing. Uh, I can't pronounce that right. Fish tails. It's uh, unreal. Fishtails.com. Hey, yeah. Frank, how would you like to be able to get high-quality 
rods and reels for half price? Anybody would. Okay, well, how about if you take that half price and get 50% off of that? You'd be crazy not to. <laughs> That's right. Well, <laughs> excuse me, Unreal Fishtails, go to the website and just check out the equipment. I mean, this is high-end stuff, you know, designed in, in the United States, and it's, uh, you know, just it's high-quality uh, product and taking g- great care to do so. And if you join their club, which you'd make your money back on your first order, you get an additional 50% off. So it's like, who wouldn't do that? And I've got another deal also. If anybody that wants to go to Unreal Fishtails, unrealfishtails.com, check out the equipment and just drop me an email to john at uh, fishtalkradio.com, john at fishtalkradio.com, and just give me a couple of sentences, what you thought of their product. Uh, we'd like to know... If, uh, where you listen to us from, and make sure you give me your phone number. I'll give you a call. We're not going to share it. I'll just give you a call, and we'll talk about uh, what kind of gear we want to give you, and uh, we'll give you $50 worth of tackle. How's that? So you get $50 worth of tackle, 50% off, and 50% off. Um, come on, guys. You can take 30 seconds to do that, can't you? Right, Frank? Yeah, oh, you better believe it. All right, well, let's do if that. They let's don't, get some more in. That I'd say somebody's kind of stupid. Well, I'm not going to call it stupid, but it certainly <laughs> certainly doesn't make any sense why you would not do that. Well, give out that website yeah. again, John. Give out that it's, website. It's uh, fishtails, uh, unreal, fishtails.com. And then check just check it out. Give me a call. I want to know how you listen to us because that helps us find out who's out there and re- how they're listening because we're, we're everywhere on everything, and that will help us kind of determine. So, And then uh, I've got a pretty deep treasure chest of tackle, so we'll send you $50 worth of tackle just by taking that trouble. It's an <laughs> unbelievable. But it's not a contest. You 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 know just let us know and you you're an instant winner. It's not a contest. You just do it and you get it. Anyway, Frank, uh, one other thing I think I've mentioned is uh, we've got a charter trip to Ketchikan July 12th to the 16th, uh, all inclusive for 1875. You can go to the website at uh, Fish Hunt Talk or Fish Talk Radio or whatever, and uh, click on. Uh, uh, Real Fun Adventures, and look at the trip that's coming up. It's an unbelievable deal. If you've never been to Alaska, you got to do this one. If you have been to Alaska, I'll bet you couldn't do it anywhere close to this price. And it's a, it's an awesome deal. Your own 20-foot covered boat, and uh, just a lot of fun, and we'd love to have you. So let's, let me know about that, because i got a lot of people waiting in the wings, and i got to narrow it down to see who's actually going and how much room we have. So please, please get in touch with me. John, give out your email address again, just uh, real quick. Just, just easy, simple, uh, three words, john at fishtalkradio.com. Oh, that's easy. Okay. Yeah, that make it, there's more of them, but that's a simple one. John at fishtalkradio.com. Get in touch with me, and we'll talk about it. All right, it looks like we're getting out of here, Frank. Appreciate your help today. That was a good show. Um, Hope you're you're doing well, Frank. uh, Oh, I'm doing perfect. All righty. I got two more tests that they'll they'll tell me about. There you go. But there was no cancer in the polyp. Good. All right. Well, you're doing fine. Just keep doing what you're doing. Thanks, Frank. 